Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Sunday, December the 9th. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm a founding member of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It is game day, in less than two hours from now, the Vancouver Canucks kick off a quick three-game road trip as they take on the St. Louis Blues in St. Louis. And a couple quick notes I just want to talk about really quickly about the game, lineup changes, and then talk about one player in particular who has impressed me. Let's talk about the lineup changes. We just found out that Adam Gaudet is battling an illness, so that means Marcus Granlin will likely slide in the center. That means Tim Schaller, the likely extra forward, the likely healthy scratch up front, will now draw in. So I believe it's going to look like this. It'll be Horvat, Vertanen, and Godobin. It'll be Pedersen, Besser, Levo. Then the third line is now Marcus Granlin, Roussel, Eriksson, and the fourth line will be Jay Beagle between Tyler Mott and Tim Schaller. On D, same three pairings, Edler and Tanev, Hutton, Gabranson, Puglia and Stetcher. That means Delzado and Biega are the scratches. And then Jacob Markstrom will get back in the net after seeding uh, the, the net to uh, Anders Nielsen for the last two games. We remember that the last game was that wonderful win against the Nashville Predators. One guy who was very impressive in that Nashville win was forward Antoine Roussel. Started the game on the third line with Eriksson and Godet in that line, but then he saw some, not a lot of minutes, but he saw a few minutes with Horvat and Vertanen as Godobin, um, you know, Green was trying to mix things up throughout the game. And Roussel certainly made the most of that opportunity. In fact, he had three points in that game. He had two goals, uh, excuse me, two assists playing with Horvat and Vertanen. Uh, the first goal was a wonderful uh, chip. Wonderful defensive play by Roussel to start a two-on-one for Horvat and Vertanen that Horvat, um, you know, ended off. Then the, the next goal for the Canucks was actually Horvat making a nice play in the defensive zone, nice pass out to Roussel, who gave it to Vertanen for another two-on-one. So Roussel was involved in two on two two-on-ones, two transition goals for the Canucks, later assisted on the Louis Erickson goal, making it three points, three assists for Anton Roussel. So already, Anton Roussel has 12 points in 26 games. And Roussel, as you remember, was part of that free agent signing frenzy for Jim Benning on July 1st of 2018, where he signed Roussel and Jay Beagle to identical four-year, $3 million per year contracts, and then later in the day, Tim Schaller to a two-year, $1.9 million per year contract. We could argue that Tim Schaller has been a bit of a disappointment, but I don't know what we expect from, a, from a, really a fourth liner making $1.9 million, maybe a bit more. We want to see him find the back of the net. But Tim Schaller has been a bit of a disappointment in and out of the lineup. I think the jury's out on incomplete mark basically for Jay Beagle. I thought he's been great. I, as you know, I like him a lot. I thought he was good in his first five games. Then he got injured, just came back for the last few. And I think we're going to see the value of Jay Beagle. You might not like the, turn, the the length of his contract or the amount, but it is what it is, so to speak. So let's look at him to bring leadership, face, uh, defensive zone coverage, uh, responsibilities, good face-offs, and penalty killing and protecting leads with all things which I've seen him do um, recently. So that's Jay Beagle. But I want to talk about Antoine Roussel. He's uh, born in France. He's never had more than uh, 29 points in the regular season, but he's always had more than uh, 100 penalty minutes, except for the one lockout shortened year. And he almost had 100 penalty minutes in that year too. So he's always had uh, 100 penalty minutes or more in a full season. And he brings a lot, right? He's good in the defensive zone. We've seen he's got decent speed. He can keep up with Horvat and Vertanen. He's got good hands actually. And he's obviously a pest. Just ask anyone who he's bit recently. So all these things make him a very valuable player, and he's a he's a veteran, so to speak, especially on the Canucks lineup. So all those things make him make him valuable. Is he three million dollars a year valuable? Four years? That's up for you to decide. But what I want to talk about really quickly today is: Do you think that Anton Roussel is more of a Derek Dorsett or more of an Alex Burrows? Derek Dorsett, I think his his skating was underrated. He was uh, definitely an agitator and a stick up for his teammates, a good leader. Dorsett also had a few uh, uh, seasons with over 200 penalty minutes. And also Dorsett never cracked the 30-point mark before he had to uh, retire, unfortunately, at the start of last season. But so Derek Dorsett, um, I see a lot of him in Anton Roussel. Uh, so is he? do you think he's like Dorsett in that way? I think Anton Roussel is a tiny bit more skilled, a tiny bit faster skater than Dorsett, and they have the same level of toughness and agitation level, so to speak. Or is Roussel more like Alex Burroughs? Not just because they both speak French, Burroughs from Canada and, and then um, Roussel from France. But um, we know that Burroughs had some really good seasons with the Canucks, especially playing with the Sedins. In fact, for four years, he had basically over 50 points or over, I think it, between 47 and 67 points in there. So he had high 40s, 50s or 60s for four straight seasons in, starting 2008. And in two of those seasons, the first two, he actually had over 100 penalty minutes. So not only was Burroughs 
lighting the lamp, so to speak, goals and assists, playing with the Sedins, but he also um, was an agitator and, and racking up the penalty minutes and standing up for his teammates as well and being a pest. We know that a lot of Burroughs' success came from the Sedins, but Burroughs was a good skater, had really good hands, both uh, in front of the net and, and uh, with his shot, slaying the dragon. And of course, um, he played well defensively as well, and a good leader in the locker room. So, um, a lot of the things that I just talked about, Anton Roussel. So I would say Anton Roussel is maybe not as fast or doesn't have the same hands as Burroughs, but maybe also he's not going to get the same opportunity that Burroughs did to put up points um, because, you know, Burroughs had the Sedins and, and Roussel will likely, even getting spot duty on the first and second lines, will likely play mostly on the third line for this Canucks team. So there you have it, just really quickly. I, I see a bit of Derek Dorsett in Antoine Roussel, and I see a bit of Alex Burroughs in Antoine Roussel. Obviously, Antoine Roussel wants to be Antoine Roussel, not Derek Dorsett and Alex Burroughs, but being fans of both Dorsett and Burroughs and following this team for a while, I think those comparisons are fair. So uh, regardless, I, I hope that Roussel continues a strong play and shows that he, he can belong with the top line, even if he's, he's more of a third-line player by, by nature. Canucks fans, what do you think? Do you see more of Dorset or Burroughs and Roussel or maybe neither or maybe both? I'd love to read, uh, you know, read your comments and leave your thoughts. Leave a comment below. As always, I'd love to read, react, and reply. Subscribe this video if you like to. Like this channel. No, say this again. Subscribe to this channel if you like to. Like this video if you like to. You can tell I'm excited. I'm trying to get this done so I can go in and eat breakfast. Then I'm going to have a nice chat with Chris Faber of Canucks Conversation Podcast. Going to be his guest today. So uh, Canucks all around. So that podcast, posting this video and then the Canucks playing the St. Louis Blues at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Enjoy the day. Go Canucks, go, and God bless.